Hello dear students of class 10. This is Priyanka Upadhyay, your physics teacher. And now let us start with the next topic from chapter 2, work energy power from ICSE class 10. Okay. So in this chapter, we are going to learn about power and energy. And in the previous chapter, uh, in the previous video, we have covered about work done. Okay. So in this uh, session, we are going to learn the definition of power, measurement of power, units of power, differences between work and power, definition of energy, units of energy. Okay, students. So now let us discuss about another physical quantity that is power. So when we say the word power, so automatically something comes in our mind that whose power? It is the power of a source which is doing the work. See here, like a motorcycle, uh, like a motorcycle doing the work and carrying the load and making displacement. And this motorcycle is said to have some power. Because of that power, it is applying the work, it is doing the work and making the displacement. Okay. So all machines which we see around, including us, are having some power because they're doing some kind of work. Now, what is more powerful and less powerful machine? Listen here, for that we define power. More powerful machine is that machine which can do more work compared to another one okay so in this something is common between them what is common time is common between them see here according to the definition it says that the rate of doing work is called power so it means whichever machine is doing more work in one second in the same time it is said to have the more power for example if there are two machines and they are doing work in five seconds, whichever machine is doing more work, that machine is more powerful. Okay, so then what is work? Here we use the word work. Work is nothing but the force into displacement. Either a machine applies more force or it should do more displacement. Then in a given time, then the power is more. Either the machine should do more, uh, machine should apply more force or it should do more displacement. Then it is said to be more powerful machine. See, as we say according to the definition, the rate of doing work is called power. It means it means the amount of work done by the source in one second. Okay, so this power is a scalar quantity. Next thing comes, how to measure the power. The power spent by a source is measured as the amount of work done by the source in one second. In one second, whatever the amount of work done is done by the source, it is known as power. So if W is the work done in time T, then power P is equal to, look here, power P is equal to work done divided by time. It is nothing but work done per unit time. It means the amount of work done by a source in time T, W divided by T. Power P is equal to W divided by T. If time is one second, then power will be equal to work done. Okay, students. So the next thing is factors on which the power spent by a source depends. See here. There are some factors on which the power spent by a source or a machine depends. First one is the amount of work done by a source. See here. How much amount of a work done is happening. See, here. the amount of work done by a source, that is nothing but how much the body or a machine is doing work in a given time. That is, it may be force, it may be displacement. 
and second thing is the time taken by the source to do the work see the machine should do more work in less amount of time then only it is said to have uh, said to be more powerful see here, the third point is the machine is said to be more powerful if it does more work in less time so uh, which are those two factors first one the amount of work done that is work done is nothing but force into displacement either the force should be more or displacement should be more second one the time taken by the source okay so it means in less time the machine should perform more work next comes the units of power the si unit of power is watt as we know that power is work done divided by time so here the si unit of power is watt and the si unit of work is joule and si unit of time is second hence 1 watt is equal to 1 joule divided by 1 second it is nothing but joule per second the yes joule of work is done in 1 second look here if 1 joule of work is done in 1 second then the power spent for this much of work is said to be 1 watt the power spent for this much of work is said to be 1 watt there are some other units of power so some bigger units of power are kilowatt megawatt and gigawatt so 1 kilowatt is equal to 10 raised to 3 watts 1 megawatt is equal to 10 raised to 6 watts 1 gigawatt is equal to 10 raised to 9 watts so the smaller units of power are milliwatt and microwatt 1 milliwatt is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 watt please make a change it should be 10 raised to minus 3 watt and 1 microwatt is equal to 10 raised to minus 6 watt okay my dear students please make a change here 1 milliwatt is equal to 10 raised to minus 3 watt and 1 microwatt is equal to 10 raised to minus 6 watt so next the cgs unit of power is earth per second okay the cgs unit of power is earth per second so let us study about the relation between si and cgs unit see here the si unit of power is watt and the cgs unit of power is joule per second okay so we know that 1 joule is equal to 10 raised to 7 Earth. So therefore, one watt is equal to ten raised to seven ergs per second because one joule is equal to ten raised to seven erg. Next one, the another unit of power is horsepower. It is another unit of power. Largely, uh, it is largely used in the mechanical engineering. It is related to SI unit of power, like. One horsepower is equal to one horsepower is equal to seven forty six watt. Okay, it is nothing but zero point seven four six kilo watt. Okay, the next thing we will discuss about is the differences between work and power. Okay, so what are the differences between work and power? First, we say about the work. The work done. by a force is equal to the product of uh, force and the displacement in the direction of force okay as we have learned about the force the work is said to be done only when the force is being applied and there is a displacement in the body in the direction of the applied force and what is power power of a source is rate of doing work by it see here power of a so source is rate of doing work in one second whatever the work you are doing it is said to be a power in one second whatever the work you are doing it is said to be power or in given time t whatever the work you are doing it is said to be power of a machine 
second one work done does not depend upon time see work done does not depend upon time because it is force into displacement it doesn't depend upon time okay but the power spent is depend upon time the power spent depend upon time see here work done in time t it means power depends upon time the third difference is the si unit of work is joule and the si unit of power is watt okay students so let us discuss about our next concept that is energy so basically what is energy see here. the one who is applying the force and making displacement is doing the work okay so for doing the work what is a requ requirement see here. now to apply the force and to do the work we need something okay and that requirement is nothing but the energy okay and that requirement is nothing but the energy so what is energy energy is the capacity to do the work see here. the work can be done only by those who have the capacity to do the work see here. there must be something to do the work and that something is nothing but energy see here. the work can be done only by those who have the capacity to do it the capacity to do the work is nothing but the capacity in a source so that we can apply force and do the displacement see here. to do the work there are some conditions what are those according to the definition there must be a force and there should be a displacement if the body is applying some force and it is doing some displacement it means it has something in it at that something is nothing but energy see here. if a body is able to apply the force and do the displacement the body has the capacity to do the work and this capacity to do the work is nothing but energy and this energy is a scalar quantity okay so the units of energy so the si unit of energy is joule and the cgs units of energy is earth cgs unit of energy is earth and there are some bigger units of energy which are watt r and kilowatt r see here watt r 1 watt r is the energy spent by a source of power 1 watt in 1 r see here. One watt r. It is a unit of energy. Watt r is the unit of energy, and one watt r is the energy spent by a source of power one watt in one hour. In one hour, whatever the power, okay, that is work done per unit time is how much one watt. So then. the energy spent is 1 watt r next one is kilowatt r again it is same 1 kilowatt r is the energy spent by a source of power 1 kilowatt in 1 hour see here, the power is spending how much 1 kilowatt in 1 hour that is nothing but 1 kilowatt r energy so here One watt r is equal to one watt into one r. So it is nothing but one watt is one joule per second into one r is three thousand six hundred second. So it is nothing but three point six kilo joule. Three point six kilo joule. And next year, one kilowatt r is equal to one kilowatt into one r. Next. One kilowatt is nothing but one kilo. Value of kilo is thousand. Watt is joule per second. So thousand joule per second into three thousand six hundred second is equal to 
3.6 mega joule okay so this is about unit of energy and there are some another units of energy see here the heat is also energy and it is measured in calories see what is calorie calorie is the amount of heat energy which is required to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water to 1 degree celsius that is from 14 degree celsius to 15 degree celsius whatever the amount of heat energy is required okay to raise the temperature of 1 gram of water by 1 degree celsius is known as one calorie and already you know the relationship between joule and calorie one joule is equal to 0 0.24 calorie and one calorie is equal to 4.18 joule and one kilo calorie is nothing but thousand calorie kilo itself is a thousand and it is thousand calorie it is equal to 4118 joules next one Electron volt. See here. The energy of atomic particles is measured in electron volt. See here, atomic particles, they are very small. So the energy is measured in electron volt. So one electron volt is equal to 1.6 into 10 raised to minus 19 joules. Okay. Uh, now let us discuss about the differences between energy and power. So what is energy? Energy is the capacity to do the work and power of a source is the rate at which energy is supplied by it. As we have discussed, the power of a source is the rate at which the energy is supplied by it. Okay, so next one. Energy spent does not depend upon time energy spent it is not dependent upon the time but the power is dependent upon time because it is work done divided by time work done per unit time is nothing but power so the si unit of energy is joule and the si unit of power is watt so here we come to the end of the part A from work, power and energy and in the next session we will discuss about the numericals. Okay students and if you have any doubts you can uh, message me, you can contact me. Thank you.